It is a vicious act of betrayal. Here's how it works. A bitter ex-boyfriend posts a risque shot of his former lover online, and in an instant, the deeply intimate becomes ruthlessly public. It's incredibly easy to do and shockingly common, so much so it even has a name, revenge porn. For years, the victims have suffered helplessly, but tonight the tables are turning, and here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Online, bad news travels fast. But when Kayla Laws found out that a topless picture of her was showing up against her will all over the internet, she was horrified. It's embarrassing to know that they've seen that photo of me, and they know what I look like now topless because of that site. Kayla says she was hacked, but what she didn't know at the time was that she was just another in a long, embarrassed line of women who'd fallen victim to something called revenge porn. Generally, when an ex-boyfriend sends in nude pictures of an old girlfriend just to humiliate her. But in this case, they picked the wrong victim with the right mom. It was extremely difficult for my whole family. It wasn't even just my daughter that was victimized. It was really the entire family because it impacts everybody in the victim's life. Charlotte Laws has been called the Aaron Brockovich of revenge porn. Frustrated that no one seemed to be doing anything about this growing underground problem, she set out to track down more victims. And after two years of pushing lawmakers, get a law on the books in California to crack down. The amendment, it will cover 100% of victims. Anybody who distributes a nude or topless picture without the victim's consent, that would be illegal. Law enforcement has taken notice. Case in point, YouGotPosted.com, which critics claim specialized in revenge porn and was run by a 27-year-old San Diego man. Tonight, he's learning that revenge is a dish that's sometimes served in jail. He's facing a mountain of charges, 31 felony counts of conspiracy, identity theft, and extortion. Investigators say he got himself into trouble not by simply humiliating people, but by charging his victims between $250 and $350 to remove the images using emails sent through a website called changemyreputation.com. Court documents say he collected in excess of $10,000, money from often desperate victims. Please help, I'm scared for my life, wrote a victim police list as Jane Doe number 6, Others have suffered the same humiliation from similar sites. I couldn't breathe and then I started crying like uncontrollably because I felt really helpless. Holly Toops told Nightline earlier this year she had no idea who posted a dozen topless photos of her on a site called Texan.com. Knowing that someone could, with a click of a button, take whatever information they wanted from you and share it is really troubling. The world of revenge porn, something also known as involuntary porn, is a strange one, as we found out when we met the man many consider the godfather of revenge porn. Got my alcoholism taken care of for the rest of the week. Hunter Moore. He claims he's never hacked anyone. His former website, is anyoneup.com was designed for humiliation on a scale only the internet can offer. It's public humiliation. Yeah, it is. And you are fine with blasting it out and basically ruining, in some cases, other people. I mean, to me, I don't know these people, so, and it's kind of anonymous to me. I think uh, the people submitting it are the ones who should be, uh, you know, feeling bad when they do click that submit button. But so you have no empathy? No, they're just people, they're characters and avatars and icons on a screen. Hunter actually boasted about the woman who came to his door looking for her own brand of revenge. I was walking out of my house one day and out of nowhere, the girl we had posted, or I had posted, she stuck me in the shoulder with a big pen. And uh, this is the scar I have left. They had to Whoa. surgically remove it. Hunter Moore is no longer in the revenge porn business, but his site, like the others, have had one more unintended shockwave. They've mobilized a small army of angry women into action. Holly Toops has taken a page out of Charlotte Law's book and gone on to speak with lawmakers and work with victims. She believes the people who run the websites should share blame with their customers. They're just as um, to, you know, guilty. They should be held accountable because they're logging on, they're putting their credit card in, they're paying to see us exploited and 
again, if there wasn't those disgusting people paying, then maybe there wouldn't be a website. But legislating revenge porn out of existence is no small task. Hunter Moore left his popular site not because he was threatened or sued, but because he was bought out by a man named James McGibney, who says he bought it to be the good guy, to shut it down as a sort of public service. But it also instantly gave him two million visitors for a new venture, which, by the way, is closely tied to another revenge-based website called Cheaterville. There was just a full day That's just of, of, of just alleged cheaters. A website devoted to people posting about their spouses or partners cheating. Did you really shut it down for the public good or because, you know, it's a website with a huge built-in audience and there you go, you're launching another site, you got a lot of eyeballs. Do you know what kind of base he has, the subscriber base he had? It's not the type of people I want to bully the The same laws that allow YouTube to host content uploaded by individuals also protect some revenge porn, putting the liability fully on the person who uploads it. It is incredibly difficult for victims to find any kind of remedy. It's really difficult to get any type of civil suits to be initiated against these perpetrators because that costs a lot of money and it often does bring more publicity to the images themselves. And there are hundreds of sites, by one estimate nearly 900, catering to what some might call an uncomfortable amount of demand. When we last caught up with Hunter Moore, he still seemed to think using humiliation as a business model was a good idea. I think at some point when you get older, you might look back at the person you are now of course. and have some regret. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to grow and change as a person, but right now, and this time, uh, I'm going to take full advantage of people's mistakes and what I've created. Tonight, even as Charlotte Laws celebrates the fact that more states are cracking down on revenge porn, she knows technology is often one step ahead, and people everywhere love taking pictures of themselves and sharing them. The law has not kept up with technology, that's for sure, and it's true. I mean, there are so many pictures there's on the internet, there's so much information out there. I don't think there's really a way to curb that. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Seattle.